I hit my chip shot and it hit the flag stick and stayed on the lip of the cup. And I tapped it in for par and Matt came up to me and said, you have more golf to play. And I thought it meant that I made it to nationals. I didn't know there was a playoff. So I walked up to the clubhouse and this guy comes up and says, good luck in the playoff. And I looked at Matt and said, it's a playoff? And he was like, yeah. So I was a bit confused and then I went to sign my scorecard and, and just went straight up to the first tee and started the playoff. So that's why I got, a, I got a good read from Matt, right edge, and I had a good putt. That's so. it. Um, like when we sat down in the van, I'd say, after all the interviews and all the photos and everything, I kind of got some time to, to think about it. I've been practicing hard, I've been focusing a lot of, on, on playing golf, so I've been playing a lot of holes. Um, and I've been, I've been trying to hit like longer irons and, and a lot of drives because I know the course is challenging and I'm going to have to hit good tee shots and hit my long irons good, so I've been focusing on that. Hopefully, uh, Panas appreciates this situation for what it is. Uh, there are people who work, who have great collegiate careers that have never been to the Nationals. He's a freshman, he doesn't know anything other than going to the Nationals. He doesn't have any major weaknesses that he can, he's very well rounded, he has a great short game, and so uh, his visualization is better than 99% uh, of the people that'll be there. Now, then it gets to the point where how good is his execution, and we'll just have to wait and see. I'm just gonna play my game, just always try to play my best, and we'll see how far I can it goes. So.